queen to give Meghan Markle her first royal patronage is before royal baby birth. The queen will grant Meghan Markle her very first patronages in the new year, and speculations are high they will reflect causes close to her heart, such as women empowerment and the arts. Meghan and the Queen were said to have ongoing discussions over the Duchess of Sussex's future role in the royal family. The Duchess and her husband, Prince Harry reportedly had tea with Her Majesty at Buckingham Palace to discuss Meghan's potential patronages, with an announcement in February, according to the Mail Online. Meghan will visit her allocated charities and organizations before she takes maternity leave next spring. Speculations of Meghan receiving her first patronage came out after she met with artistic director Rufus Norris of the National Theatre. Since December 2016, the Queen has distributed more than 20 royal patronages to other members of the royal family in order to lessen her workload. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge took on the patron role for All England Lawn while Prince Harry became patron of the Rugby Football Union and the Rugby Football League. Members of the royal family are patronages for more than 3,000 organisations across the UK. The organisations include the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust. Bernardo's and Save the Children UK. The prestigious role allows the royal family to help charitable closes they are passionate about. Kensington Palace has not commented on Meghan's patronages, but insiders speculate they will be charities and organizations that hold importance to her, such as feminism and the arts. Kate, who holds children dear to her heart, is a patron for the Action for the Children. Meanwhile, her husband Prince William, a keen sports fan, is a patron of the Amateur Swimming Association and Welsh Rugby Union. Meghan, who is believed to around five months pregnant, will be birth to her child by next spring. Since marrying Harry in May, Meghan has now adjusted into her role as Duchess of Sussex, but academics says she has left her feminist ways behind and is molding into a submissive royal woman. According to an academic paper published by Celebrity Studies, authors Laura Clancy and Hannah Yolen claim Meghan is in the middle of a conservative, upper-class makeover in the royal family. The report reads, Meghan's activist voice has been either silenced or appropriated by the monarchy. She has quit her acting career, closed down her popular blog and social media accounts for all her online activity to be ciphered through Kensington Palace. Meanwhile, Markle is said to be receiving Duchess lessons from the Queen's advisers, to be brought up to speed with protocol and expectations of life with the monarchy.